الحمد لله والشكر لله ما خاب عبد قصد مولا الحمد لله والشكر لله ما خاب عبد قصد مولا بسم الله بديت قولي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته on behalf of Sheikh Abdullah and the Al Qasas family, I would like to welcome everybody over here to this blessed occasion where we will be witnessing the signing of the ijazah for Sister Hannah. Uh, we will be uh, we will witness Sheikh Abdullah's uh, signing ijazah uh, uh, with Sheikh Bakri Tarabishi. It will be a video on the projector um, that will be followed by our beloved Imam Muhammad speaking on the merits of uh, reading the Quran and memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Sister Hannah will recite some of the surah and uh, Shaykh Abdullah will question her. Um, then we will have Dr. Rihabi Muhammad from Texas. He will give some advice to the Ijazah and Hikth students. Uh, then there will be a quick explanation about the Ijazah program, what it is, what it entails, and uh, other details. This will be followed by Chef Nizar Mashal, um, and then Sister Sana will be, uh, Sister Hannah will recite the remaining surah and complete the recitation of the Quran, and Sheikh Abdullah will sign the ijaza, and then we will have um, brother uh, Sister Hannah's father give a few words. But before that, we will start off this occasion with uh, some words from the Holy Quran recited by Sheikh Abdul Mu'iz, followed by a translation by Brother Ibiyas. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Inna al-lazina yat لون كتاب الله وأقام الصلاة وأنفقوا وأنفقوا مما رزقناهم سرا وعلانية يرجون تجارة لن تبور ليوفيهم أجورهم ويزيدهم من فضله إنه غفور شكور والذي أوحينا إليك من الكتاب هو الحق هو الحق مصد صدقا لما بين يديه إن الله بعباده لخبير بصير ثم أورث الكتاب الذي نصفينا من عبادنا فمنهم ظالم لنفسه ومنهم مقتصد ومنهم سابق بالخيرات ومنهم سابق بالخيرات بإذن الله ذلك هو 
الفضل الكبير جنات عدن يدخلونها يحلون فيها يحلون فيها من نساوير من ذهب ولؤلؤا ولباسهم فيها حرير وقالوا الحمد لله الذي أذهب عنا الحزن إن ربنا لغفور شكور الذي أحلنا دار المقامة من فضله لا يمسنا فيها نصب لا يمسنا فيها نصب ولا يمس for that beautiful recitation. Sheikh Mu'iz is a graduate from the Ijazah program and he is also working on his Ijazah Khutmah. Uh, next, inshallah, we will have Brother Ilyas read the translation of the ayat that were just recited. Sheikh Abdullah chose Brother Ilyas because of his excellence in the Medina Hifz program. And inshallah, he, he has completed five juz so far. So may Allah reward him for that. And inshallah, he will continue with his excellence, inshallah. Brother Ilyas. Surely those who recite the Book of Allah establish prayer and spend in charity out of what we have provided for them, secretly and openly. Hope for an exchange that will never fail, that he may give them their full rewards and even increase them out of his bounty. He is surely all forgiving, most appreciated. That which we have revealed to you of the book is the truth, confirming what was revealed before it. Surely Allah is all aware, all seeing of his servants. Then we granted the scripture to those we have chosen from our servants. But there are among them some who wrong themselves, some who follow a middle course, and some who are foremost in good deeds by Allah's will. That is truly the greatest bounty. They will enter the gardens of eternity where they will be adorned with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their clothing therein will be of silk. And they will say, Praise and thanks be to Allah, who has kept away from us all causes of sorrow. For our Lord is indeed all-forgiving, most appreciative, who has, out of his bounty, settled us in the abode of eternity, where we will be touched by neither fatigue nor weariness. Takbir! Jazakallah khairan, brother Elias. Those were some beautiful ayat from Surah Fatir. Jazakallah khairan for that translation. Next we will watch the video of Sheikh Abdullah receiving his ijazah from Sheikh Bakri Tarabishi.
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد النبوث رحمة العالمين وبعد الحمد لله الذي أكرم المسلمين بكم يا أهل القرآن وأكرمكم أن جعلكم خداما خداما وأناة وآنية للقرآن الكريم الحمد لله يا احمدوا ربكم يا اخوانا هو اخر الطبقه التي بينها وبين رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سبعه وعشرين قارئا بروايه حفصا عن عاصم من طريق الشاطبيه ذلك فضل الله ياتيه من يشاء الحمد لله هذا فضل الله ياتيه من يشاء فيا اخوان الله اكرمكم اكرمكم بجماعه كرام يهتمون لامركم ويجتمعون من اجلكم ويعملون لاجلكم فادعوا الله لهم ان يزيدهم فضلا واكراما وان يزيدكم تعلقا وانتفاعا ان شاء الله بما بما اكرم الله به من اخذ القران منا او من تلاميذنا المنتشرون في الارض كلها حدثا بنعم الله أنا بكوني أنه أحمل أعلى أعلى سنة في يصلني بالنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فإني أيضا انتشرت قراءتي في العالم كله فليس في في البلد في العالم كله يعني مكانا إلا ولي فيه تلميذ أو أخ أو 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 شيخ فنسأل الله أن ينفعني وينفعكم بالقرآن الكريم وأن يهدينا إلى الصراط المستقيم الشباب والشابات والإخوة والأخوات ماذا سنفعل مقابل فقداننا لهؤلاء السادة الأعلام أنجلس هكذا أم لا بد أن نعوض فلذلك أكلم إخواني وأخواتي من حفاظ وحافظات مما ما زال في طريق الحفظ أو أنهى الحفظ ولم يسعى إلى إجازة في القرآن أو أنهى الإجازة ولم وليس له يعني طموح إلى القراءات السبع بل إلى العشر الصغرى بل إلى العشر الكبرى وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا رب اغفر لي ولوالدي رب ارحمهما كما ربياني صغيرا يا رب الله يسلمك الله يدويك ويعافيك اكتب لك السلام ولا مكافاتك عنا ان شاء الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد ولم يكن له كفوا الناس من الجنة والناس الله يزيكم الخير يبارك فيكم تهمتونا أربع سنين ما تقصيرنا يعني مو مسيح الله يزيكم الخير من هون تفضل سيدي بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد فيقول العبد الفقير يا ربي بكر الطرابيشي إني قد سمعت ختمة كاملة من الشاب بن فضال عبد الله بن محمد خضر من القميصرة تولد دمشق تولد دمشق تولد دمشق وذلك وذلك على النحو الذي قرأته على أشياخي وأسرة بهم وبإذن سابق منهم فإني أجيده بالقراءة والإقراء وأرجو أن يشركني في دعائه وأسأل الله أن يجمعني على مثله طاعته في الدنيا وفي دار آخرته في الآخرة كان ذلك في جلسات متعددة في حي مجدين وفي منزل كان كان 
آخره كان آخرها في منزلي كان آخرها في منزلي مساء يوم الأربعاء والحمد لله رب العالمين <تصفيق> I am really honored and thrilled to be among you all tonight, mashallah ta'ala, in such a beautiful, precious moment of passing on a tradition of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Most of you maybe have witnessed, subhanallah, this emotional moment, and it's dearly emotional to our beloved Sheikh Abdullah as he went through this process. And I can guarantee that no matter how many times he would see this moment, the tears will always overwhelm him. It is such a beautiful moment, subhanallah, not just because of the achievement of finishing the Qur'an with an ijazah, the biggest overwhelming part of it is the fact that he continued the traditions of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Merits of the Qur'an and those who come to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this short time of 10 minutes, all I can do is just to remind you of an outline that most of you are aware of. The book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So enough of an honor for us to hold and memorize the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine? We are so thrilled just to imitate and copy our beloved Prophet in small acts of sunnah. Just imagine yourself as a carrier of the Qur'an. You are preserving the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Continuing the tradition of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who used to do this process with Sayyidina Jibreel who came to him every year once to review the Qur'an with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make sure that the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are engraved in his heart and that's why the process of memorization and the process of acquiring an ijazah is not an easy process. 
And it is so beautiful that it's not an easy process because this honor needs struggle. This honor needs hardship. This honor needs absolute commitment and dedication. The merits of those who memorize the Quran, one of it, subhanAllah, that comes to my mind that I can just think with you now is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. So besides the fact that we're continuing, we're memorizing the words of Allah, continuing the traditions and custom of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that's why it's so emotional. Third is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized enough of an honor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates the status of those who memorized his book. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized those who did so of telling them and labeling them that those are the special people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized. Ahlul Qur'an, Ahlullahi wa khasatu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu to give us this information that you are here as Hufaz with this process as we said not just to memorize but the process at large you are from among Ahlul Qur'an and Prophet Muhammad said Ahlullahi wa khasatun you know many things subhanallah how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized the people that despite your struggle even if you want to be subtle and you don't want to even be recognized but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will push you to be recognized in a great way it doesn't matter, this is how your status is being elevated, where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the people of the Qur'an, so now we have talked about four merits, also the people of the Qur'an will receive the shafa'ah of our beloved Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And telling us in a long hadith that the part of it, that the Qur'an will come to be your shafi'ah, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because you dedicated yourself and committed yourself to it. You lived your life. Look at what Sheikh Abdullah has done ever since he landed his foot on this land. Besides all the struggle that went through and all the hardship that he went through, dunya hardship that is, but then the process that he went through does not allow him except to live the Qur'an and to pass it on to others. So despite everything, then the process has to continue because you can't live without it. And the shafa'ah of this comes that the Qur'an himself is telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being the shafi'ah. مَنَعْتُهُمْ نَوْمِ مَنَعْتُهُمْ نَوْمَ بِاللَّيْلِ فَشَفِعْنِي فِيهِ فَيَشْفَعَانِ because this hadith talks about two categories, those who have committed to the book of Allah and those who have fasted and fasted and left and refrained from all dunya mata' for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows your memorization and the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come and be your shafi'ah. What an honor. Wallahi, what an honor. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognized you with his own words and gave you the shafa'ah besides the beloved shafa'ah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Among the people, among the people, Prophet Muhammad clearly said, Ya Ummul Qawma, Aqra'uhum li kitabillah. That the one that would come to lead the prayer is the one that has dedicated and committed himself to the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's, that's why you see even among the respected scholars who have dedicated themselves to the sunnah of of Prophet Muhammad and the hadith and what have you. When they are in a gathering among the Qurra, they would ask the Qurra to lead because they are the one that have been recognized by our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu They have specialized, dedicated themselves, committed themselves to continue this beautiful tradition. That's a sixth merit that just quickly you know, sharing with you of this beautiful honor of carrying the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are so many, and I know most of you, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, if not all of you know this, that part of the honor that Prophet Muhammad also said, that the 
carrier of the Quran, those who have dedicated themselves for the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment in the Jannah will keep reading and reading because they have left this book and elevate themselves higher and higher and higher until the last ayah that they are able to recite. So the more they live the Quran, the more they will be able to elevate themselves higher and higher and higher. And that's why we come to always emphasize, my dear brothers and sisters, about the importance of living the Quran. And that's why it's a, bit, it's a long process. It's not an easy process. I was thrilled and honored when Sheikh Abdullah invited me to be part of this blessed moment because I do experience the process throughout the world where many have not gone through the process of truly acquiring the ijazah. Where, unfortunately, it is sad enough of all this honor of just those six merits that I have shared with you and the merits are many but you know for the sake of time we just wanted to feel how honored is the carrier and the hafiz of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala elevates his status Prophet Muhammad recognize him in front of all the people you are following his tradition you are doing exactly what Prophet Muhammad did and passed it on to the Sahaba to do the same process and you've seen the short video of Sheikh Abdullah doing the exact same thing of acquiring this ijazah from Sheikh Bakr al-Tarabishi that has in the, in the video you've seen only 27 people between him and Prophet of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can you imagine can you imagine this dedication just between me and my beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 27 people, only 27 people that have gone through this process but this process is an honor and because it's an honor it should not be a process that becomes more of a profitable process where many people around the globe unfortunately are just making money out of it. You take the ijazah and you pay all these fees and you ijazah in, in no time without going any of the process, just ijazah, just even reading. You read the Quran, memorization is weak and still many mistakes but ijazah is there just because you just finished reading and you dedicated a little bit of your time and no process of follow-up and those who do so, the unfortunate fact pass it on to others with the exact same weaknesses. And that's why you see our beloved Sheikh Abdullah, and I have lived this with him, and he knows this very well. Some people around the community and maybe around the nation still maybe consider his school to be a very difficult school, that you might end up not acquiring the ijazah. But it is an honor enough that you have went through the process of exactly like those top ulama that have acquired it and passed it on mm -hmm. to be among those that have only 27 people between you prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you need to struggle it can't come to you like with an easy process just a process where you can be recognized and you sign off on it and you pass it on with many mistakes and that's why sometimes we wonder why many of the hafaz who are leading prayers around the globe and around you know, uh, 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 the area even around the nation, you know, obvious mistakes in the recitation. It's just they did not go through the right process. And this is an honor process. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow Shaykh Abdullah to continue this tradition and custom of our beloved Prophet Muhammad and to preserve the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those of you that come to acquire the ijazah from him through his school is inshallah ta'ala to graduate with this honor and to pass it on the same way without any reluctance or any weaknesses or any slowing in this process because it's an honored process and we need to keep it that way we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you all and to bless the family tonight mashallah ta'ala and to, to bless every family that is working hard with their children to do the same thing this is a dream that really came through. I want to tell you I'm in the area for more than 27 years. We were 
dying and crying for someone to offer this honestly. Our children went through a process of just basics of the basics of the Islamic schools that did not come close to offer any of this. And we really wanted it so hard and so bad. But unfortunately, not many people really cared and saw this as a vision. And it was not supported as much and it was not funded as much. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had other plans where Allah dedicated and brought some people to this community that have carried this mission the right way. And because there's so much passion about it and they're so passionate, they insisted on establishing this process. And alhamdulillah, we see the fruit of it today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and accept from you all. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Imam Omar for those beautiful words on the merits of memorizing the Quran obviously he mentioned very few of them there's a lot lot more but that should be uh, enough to inspire every one of us to continue and build our relationship with the Holy Quran um, next we will have the recitation of some of the remaining suwar by Sister Hannah What's the rule here? Why are you saying Why are you not touching the makhraj of the dream right away? Because that would make it hard with long illness. So what method of ikhfa is this? Close and touch. Much. How do you read that word? With Sad or with Sin? Both. 
both ways how? are you reading with? Hmm? What's what? Okay, read for us Hadr so that they don't stay until 12 a.m. <laughs> In the Qalqala, some people they say you should like make some of the haraka, like you khlaqu some dhamma. What do you think? Why on past Qalqala ya khlaqu? No haraka that. Not even a single a part of the haraka. Okay. Why are you making the right light? Fear the Because it's Sakina and it has a kasra before it and has a kasra after it. So we have to make it light. Okay. So fear them, we have to make it light. Based on what you're saying. Ayyua, so the root should be what? If the Ra'a has Sukun, preceded by original Kasra, followed by what? Ayyua, and Istala Alata, that has no Kasra. You have to say the full root, because if you skip part of it, then it might go to another right, another place. Why are you making the right heavy here? Because it's Sakina has half the stalla. Sakina has custom for it and it's all the half the stalla. Maybe you have it in your How many words in the Quran like that has this food? Six. Six words. What are they? Mirsada, Mirsada, Nabil Mirsad, Tirpo. What else? Tirpas, the sister of Firp, Firpa. Students do what is it? They say, Then they say, What? Then they say, What? Then they say, Then they say, What? Then they say, What? Then they say, What? Then they say, What? Then Okay, 
What is this full yawma idin bi jahannam? Yawma idin bi jahannam. Qalb. So how do you do the qalb? We leave a small yard right like as thin as the paper, right? No. No, no gap at all. When we press a little bit, no pressing. Okay. May Allah make us of those who will receive those words. Inshallah, we will continue the, the schedule since we have some uh, of our respected chicks waiting so that we don't make them wait, uh, we don't make them late, and we'll continue in the uh, after salah, inshallah. Tafadal ya Sheikh Nabi. Inshallah, next we will have Dr. Rihabi Muhammad. Uh, he will be speaking uh, about the and giving some advice for the Ijaza and Hint students and anybody who wants to build a, a relationship with the Quran. Dr. Rihabi has an Ijaza from the renowned uh, Sheikh of Quran in Syria, Sheikh Muhammad. Uh, he is currently the Dean of College, uh, the Dean of Islamic Studies at uh, Dean of Islamic Studies College and President of the Department of the Higher Studies in Quranic Performance in the American University of Human Sciences. He is also the Imam of Masjid Al Ansar in Texas. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala habibina rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Such a blessing gathering, mashallah. I would like to say, yani, jazakallah khair and thank you so much, our beloved brother, Sheikh Abdullah Khadra. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless you and your efforts. May Allah accept from you, inshallah ta'ala. And we'd like to also to say mabrook, congratulations to Sister Hana for this great, great achievement, mashallah. May Allah Azza wa Jal accept from you and make you, inshallah, also shaykha and a great teacher, inshallah, you will give ijazat to many, many sisters, inshallah ta'ala. If I have to say something here now, Jazakumullah khairan. What Shaykh Abdullah is doing, it is a sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the way. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to uh, give ijaza to some sahaba. Uh, Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim, they mentioned the uh, narrated uh, from Abdullah bin Mas'ud who he said, Sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, khudhu al-Qur'an min arba'a. من عبد الله بن مسعود وسالم ومعاذ وأبي بن كعب. So this is the way of Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. He used to give ijaza or to give permission to the great reciters like عبد الله بن مسعود سالم معاذ أبي بن كعب and he give them permission to teach others. Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim رضي الله عنهما they mentioned also from عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه said قال لي النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اقرأ علي القرآن. قلت اقرأ أو عليك وعليك أنزل قال أحب أن أسمعه من غيري. and so Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he selected some صحابة and asked them to recite Quran because they have ما شاء الله very good recitation. and one day Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم talk with أبي he told him إن الله أمرني أن أقرأ عليك فقال أبي الله سماني لك 
قال آه الله سماك لي قال فجعل أبي يبكي وسبحان الله الله عز وجل بلست حضرة أبي بن كعب to to recite to Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and to let Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم recite to Ubay to teach him to let him recite Quran well in the same way that Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم recited as he recited with Hadrat Jibril عليه السلام so now sister هنا and others you are now blessed to have this ijaza and my advice to myself and to all my brothers and sisters to all my, our students إن شاء الله تعالى few things I would like to mention very quick إن شاء الله five things number one الإخلاص وسؤال الله التوفيق to have sincerity and إخلاص to ask Allah سبحانه to accept from you and ask Allah سبحانه to give you توفيق more and more this is blessing from Allah this success came from Allah سبحانه وتعالى Allah blessed you to have this great this level this position to have ijaza to have that chain that sanad that nasab between you and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with Jibreel, with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This is a great blessing we have in this life. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. So we have, we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala always to have that tawfiq and to have ikhlas, not for anything else. We need to do that for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and to have that chain, that connection with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number two, brothers and sisters, those who are going to take ijazah or they are learning Quran now or they are going to, inshallah, complete their uh, journey in Quran Kareem with ijazah, try to focus in uh, perfection of tajweed and recitation, not just to finish quickly, not just to take uh, the certificate or the ijazah. This is not the goal. The goal is to recite with your sheikh. As he recited with his Sheikh, MashaAllah, Sheikh Bakri Tarabishi, may Allah have mercy upon him and grant him the, the highest level of Jannah. As we recited, and Sheikh Abdullah said, Ta'abnaakum ya Sidi arba asneen. Four years took from Sheikh Abdullah to recite uh, with Sheikh uh, Bakri because he is reciting slowly, nicely, uh, quietly, not rushed. Not, he is not reciting just to take ijazah. He's reciting to take baraka and to recite in the same way that Sheikh Bakri recited with his Sheikh. His Sheikh recited with his Sheikh until Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some people, they wanted to uh, finish it quick in a few months or in one year or more or less. No, the goal is to recite uh, quietly, uh, nicely, kindly, uh, perfection with each rule, with each letter. تعطي كل حرف حقه ومستحقه معرفة الوقوف والابتداء to know where I should start where I should stop everything should be in the proper way as the Prophet Sallam learned it from Jibreel عليه السلام as he took it from Allah سبحانه وتعالى so أخذ القرآن رواية ودراية بالتطبيق النظري والعملي number three to be humble and تواضع to be humble after you take ijaza or you are going to have ijaza inshallah or certificate or you memorize Quran Kareem. So as a student of knowledge, as the people of Quran, they will be in the same manners of, of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فتعليم تعلم القرآن الكريم يدعونا إلى أن نتخلق بأخلاق القرآن الكريم. كان خلقه القرآن التواضع. Be humble and your manners, your akhlaq. Your etiquette in the same way of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If anyone asks about you, they will mention you. He, his manner, her manner, la masha Allah, her tarbiya, adab, akhlaq, like Quran al-Karim. Kana khuluqu al-Quran. Kana khuluqu al-Quran. After we recited Quran and learned the 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 pronunciation of the letters of Quran al-Karim, we need to go to other level to practice Quran, to understand it, and to apply it in our daily life. Our private life, our public life. This is the purpose of Quran. Kareem. This is the purpose of Shahada. This is the purpose of Ijazat Al Quran Al Kareem to have Ijazah, how to pronounce Quran and how to practice Quran Al Kareem in your daily life. So this is my uh, my advice to myself and to my uh, uh, brothers and sisters and to all our our students. Inshallah, to remember that the the goal is uh, to recite Quran well. Quran Tartila, Ma'rifat Al Wuquf. وتجويد الحروف to know how to recite and pronounce the letters of Quran Kareem and تجويد the, the rules of Quran Kareem the rules of تجويد then to practice and apply the, the manners the akhlaq 
the rules of Quran Kareem in our in our life. I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to bless Sheikh Abdullah and uh, and all his students and to bless his 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 community members. May Allah bless you all, inshallah, and this bless gathering, inshallah, Taala. And may Allah Jal, as He gathered us at the Maidat al Quran Kareem, at the table of Quran Kareem, I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to gather us in Jannah with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with our beloved uh, ones, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khayran, and may Allah bless you all, inshallah ta'ala. And I would like to invite you all, inshallah, and brother Sheikh Abdullah, tomorrow we have, inshallah, one brother, Sheikh Abdul Hakim, uh, Abdul Wadud al-Sheikh, he will, inshallah, finish also uh, Quran, and he will get ijazah from me tomorrow, bi'idhla ta'ala, with the presence of uh, Sheikh Abdul Rashid uh, Ali al-Sufi, the uh, famous reciter, mashallah ta'ala. So it will be, inshallah, on uh, Facebook. I will send Sheikh Abdullah the link, and I, it will be our honor, inshallah, to have you and to uh, yani, to see you, inshallah, tomorrow, bi'idhla ta'ala. Jazakumullah khayran. Thank you so much, Sheikh Abdullah. May Allah bless you, inshallah, and we'll see you, inshallah. How the students of knowledge uh, get ijazah from you, inshallah, as Sheikh Bakri, as your Sheikh, uh, give these uh, blessings to the earth, to the people of this uh, earth, inshallah ta'ala, and you will continue this blessing, inshallah ta'ala, and your students will see them, inshallah. Give ijaza, give this sunnah of, of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to have that uh, uh, strong connection with him, with, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, through the Quran. Jazakallah khayran, salam alaykum wa rahmatullah. Barakallah fikum, jazakumullah khair, Sayyidi. Akramakum Allah, rafa darajatikum, taqabbal minkum, jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fikum jami'an, inshallah, wa taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum, wa hayyakum Allah. I'm so happy to, to be with you, inshallah, and I, I, I would like to invite you all to visit us in Houston, Texas, and inshallah, one day we'll visit you, inshallah, to, to see you all, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan, Sheikh, for those beautiful and inspiring words. Next, uh, I will give a short explanation of what the Ijazah program is and how, how it works. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ala wa ala. First, I would like to congratulate Sheikh Abdullah and Sister Hana and her family for this amazing achievement. Our community was blessed to have Sheikh Abdullah back in 2013 um, when he came from Syria. He was able to recite and get a license from Sheikh Bakri Tarabishi as we saw in the Ijazah video earlier. And that gave him the highest ijazah in the world in two different in two different methods of recitation of the Quran. So Sheikh Abdullah, when he came over here, he set some standards and some rules in order to continue to pass on this ijazah and this certification, and to preserve the holy Quran. This process re uh, includes reciting two or three khatmat of the Quran to Sheikh Abdullah, depending on the readiness of the student, Sheikh Abdullah will decide whether the student needs to do two or three. Uh, once we finish each juz of the Qur'an, Sheikh Abdullah also has us tested on the juz, meaning he goes through all the circles, all the mistakes, all the underlines that we have in the in that juz, and he asks us how, is, how uh, uh, to correct our mistake. Uh, what is the next word? How is this written? How would you connect this? How, uh, how are you supposed to stop over here? Uh, and other questions. This unique rigorous pro uh, program prepares students for everything that is expected from a hafiz and an ijazah holder, meaning reciting the Quran properly, as this uh, the same way that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to recite it. Being able to teach the correct recitation as well as teaching the uh, rules of tajweed and recitation and leading salahs of tarawih and fard salah. So one of, the, one of the many aspects of the ijazah is being able to pass it on to other people and certify them in order to preserve the Qur'an. It doesn't end with the, uh, the receiver of the ijazah. The, the ijazah holder passes it on every generation. This is why Sheikh Abdullah has most of his Ijazah students teaching in various programs in the Medina Quran and Youth Center. All students uh, of, of the Ijazah program start as volunteers. And they are expected to build skills such as proper communication with students, how to teach, how to correct, how to, how to listen to students properly, under, all under the supervision of Sheikh Abdullah. So he's going to be sitting there. Uh, most of the time he doesn't leave your sight. He doesn't let you go even for a second. And he'll, uh, he'll be there listening to how you're listening to the student, and he will be giving you uh, proper guidance on how to correct the students. After that, uh, uh, depending on that, the sheikh will uh, select some of the students to uh, work 
uh, as hired as employees for the uh, Medina Quran and Youth Center teaching in the HIFS programs. The Jesuit students are expected to correct even the smallest of mistakes and more importantly, explain uh, this to the student what the mistake was and how to correct it and help them perfect that correction. In addition to all of this, the Sheikh also has programs that helps the students of Quran be well-rounded in, in, in everything. So not just with, with the Quran, he also teaches his aqidah, akhlaq, uh, among other things. He offers the jazaiya class, which goes into deep, deep detail about the pronunciation of the Quran, how it should be read. Um, and, uh, some people equate this class to a PhD level course because of the intensity. He also offers um, more important than this. <laughs> <laughs> um, he also has uh, Aqidah classes, which he goes over a poem, Kharida al Bahiya, which is uh, taught in Azhar University, as well as offering Arabic classes. And the beauty of all these classes is that, is that they're all recorded and posted on his YouTube, so anybody can go and watch them. So the Ijazah program not only prepares a hafiz for the Ijazah, but moves them to be a proper student of the Quran, a representative of the Quran, and a walking. Uh, walking representative of the Quran and its teachings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward the Shaykh for all of his efforts that he has put into this program since he came here and uh, his persistence with the program. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward Sister Hannah and her family immensely for achieving this amazing goal. Amen. And finally, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us all and raise us uh, uh, as the companions of the Quran on the Day of Judgment. <laughs> Next, we will have Sheikh Nizar Mash'al. Uh, he will. Uh, he has a traditional ijazat in many of the Islamic sciences. He has a BA in Sharia and Finance from Kuwait, as well as an MBA from Duke University. Sheikh Nizar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. First, I would like to say Jazakumullah khairan, Sheikh Abdullah, for your efforts in this community and for, mashallah, this great blessing of completing the, uh, of almost completing the Ijazah program with Sister Hannah. Uh, so, congratulations, Sister Hannah, on almost achieving you, uh, your milestone. Also, I would like to thank Sheikh uh, Muammar Dahnoon, Jazakumullah khairan, for his uh, mawaidah. And may Allah help us, uh, Dr. Arhabi as well, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us uh, practice his religion, uh, be an, like honest, humble, and transmitting the knowledge of Islam, like the Sharia we have been lear like learning from our mashayikh to, the, to our friends, our sisters and brothers. Uh, basically, I would like to shed some lights on the importance of Islam, uh, Isnad on the, on, like on the background of uh, Isnad. Isnad is basically a chain of authorities. Uh, this chain to, of authorities uh, serve in uh, attesting to the authenticity of the transmission of the, uh, of the divine knowledge of this religion. So as it is in the Quran, it is in Hadith, it is in jurisprudence or fiqh. It is in tarbiyah and suluk. So, right now, as you say, uh, we we right now, you have all learned that the highest ijaza currently in the Quran. You, anybody would like to take the ijaza would have twenty eight person between him and the Prophet peace be upon him. Each one of these uh, scholars or reciters have heard the Qur'an from someone who heard it from his master or his teacher and uh, until it comes to, for example, if it's Ubay ibn uh, Riwayat Hafs, then it would reach back to Sayyiduna Ubay ibn Ka'b and Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhuma, who learned it from the Prophet peace be upon him. And as well, in Fuqh, we have chains of scholars, mainly in four uh, school of thoughts, Hanafi, Shafi'i, Maliki, Hanbali. So in our, for example, in our Shafi'i school of, uh, school of thought, we know that nowadays every chain has about 25, uh, 35 to 40 scholar between us and the companions who learned the ruling of Sharia from the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, in Hadith, the had 
the companions of the Prophet's peace be upon him, radiallahu uh, anhu, and his uh, and sahaba they have heard the hadith and they have delivered it as they heard it uh, to their followers until it reached us nowadays we know that the highest possible is about 20, uh, 23 person between someone who heard the hadith day and the the, uh, the prophet who told it to, uh, to his com companion this is so important uh, and one of the early mentioning of this important of the importance of this chain of authorities is uh, Sayyiduna Muhammad ibn Sirin rahimahullah. He's one of the great uh, followers of the uh, and companions of the companions of the Prophet. Uh, may Allah be pleased with them. So Muhammad ibn Sirin has met about or maybe over 30 of, of the Prophet's uh, companions. May Allah be pleased with them. What he said, he said, indeed, this knowledge is religion. Inna hadha al-ilma deen. So carefully consider from whom you take your religion. Fanduru amman ta'khuduna deenakum. So as Sheikh Mu uh, Mu uh, Muammar was talking, uh, he, wa he was mentioning and talking, that is so important. When we are looking to take religion, we take it from the best. Say, uh, the, uh, the best, the Prophet peace be upon him, used to name to his companion from whom, uh, from who they should take each type of Islamic re uh, religion. He used to say that like uh, um, among uh, or within my ummah or among our ummah, the best reciter of uh, Quran is Ubay ibn Ka'b. So he was naming him, pinpointing him that the other companion would, uh, would learn Quran from him. He used to say that the best uh, or the most knowledgeable of them concerning uh, the laws of inheritance is Zayd ibn Thabit radiallahu an. So he's one of the fuq fuqaha al-Sahaba. He used to say that the best or the most, sorry, the most knowledgeable of them concerning the halal and haram, which is like which, what is permissible, not permissible, lawful, unlawful is Sayyiduna Mu'adh ibn Jabal. So this is the beauty of our religion, that the knowledge we have today is transmitted through chains of scholars who, who received this knowledge from the Prophet, peace be upon him, from the companion of the, of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and passed it for, uh, forward. And this is so important to preserve the beauty of our religion. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يرث هذا العلم من كل خلف عدوله. In another riwayah, يرث هذا العلم أو يحمل هذا العلم من كل خلف عدوله. So it's like in every generation, this defined defined knowledge or Sharia or the the of or religion will be inherited. Maybe inherited in a riwayah or shouldered in, in, a, in another riwayah by the vital center. ينفون عنه تأويل الجاهلين وانتحال المبطلين وتحريف الغالين. So, what would they do? They will refute the misinterpretation of the extremist, the irresponsibilities of the lax, and the false of the uh, the false interpretation of the ignorance. So this is why it's so important when you learn the recitation of the Quran, you learned it from someone who heard it, practiced and recited it as it was recited during the time of the Prophet peace be upon him. The same thing when, with other, any other uh, uh, re re like religions uh, or sco school of uh, uh, defined knowledge, whether it's fiqh, hadith, uh, suluk and tarbiyah. So, uh, also, it is an amana that the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, mentioned to his companion. He said, So it is that Allah, uh, the, our Prophet, peace be upon him, was praying that may Allah be pleased with the person who heard the hadith, memorized it, and passed it, conveyed, conveyed it to someone else. And he's saying that this would preserve the knowledge 
sometimes the one who transmits this knowledge is not as would not be as knowledgeable as the one who would carry it. So among those who transmitted this uh, Quran to, to us, those who were who wrote tafsirs, uh, tafsir of the Quran, interpretations of the Quran, who were able to breach and uh, advise, recommend the, the community on how to follow the teaching of our, of our religion, whether it's in the Quran, whether it's in the Hadith. This, is, this Sunnah has continued throughout our history. For example, during the time of uh, Sayyiduna Umar ibn Khattab, the second Khalifa, uh, Zayd ibn Thabit was the ruler of uh, Levant countries, of Sham. So he sent to Sayyiduna Umar, he said like, people have, uh, the number of people have, have been grow growing. We need someone who comes, teach them the, the uh, Quran, uh, teach them the knowledge of this religion, yufaqihuhum fi din. I, I need men who, who would help out. So Sayyidina Umar Khattab, he sent three. He sent Mu'adh ibn Jabal, Ubad ibn Samit, and Abu Darda radiallahu an. And they taught them, start with hummus, teach the people, people there, then spread out and like teach the people so some of them will be able to teach others and spread out and keep, uh, 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 let other learners learn from, from you. This is how this knowledge is preserved. So now it's so important whenever we hear something from a sheikh or whenever we hear a, a shining name, we need to make sure that he is connected to an authentic chain of authorities, that he received this knowledge and, uh, from an authentic scholar, that he's not an inventor, he's inventing his own, uh, he's like uh, uh, producing his own thoughts on this religion. We know that we need this religion as pure as it was trans, uh, it was taught by the Prophet peace be upon him, the Prophet who taught his companions and the companions who, who taught their, uh, their fellow followers. So Jazakumullahu Khairan for uh, allowing me this opportunity to have uh, such a, uh, to be in such a blessed gathering. May Allah uh, reward you all and may Allah help, help us be on the right path, reward our mashayikh, reward our like scholars, uh, parents who have been supporting us throughout our, uh, throughout this life, seeking mm -hmm. knowledge advising, and advising other. Jazakumullahu Khairan. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. جزاكم الله خير شيخ نزار بارك الله فيكم يا الله سبحانه وتعالى بلس يو ان ريورد يو. فيكم شيخنا ابو اويس الله يبارك فيكم. شيخ نزار از از ماي تيتشر ان ذا شافعي فقه اند ماني اذر اسلاميك ساينسز از ويل. سو ماي الله سبحانه وتعالى بلس هي اولسو هاز ا كونكتد تشين ثرو ا جريت رينوود سيريان سكولرز اند اذرز تو ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم. سو وي نيد تو ميك يوز اوف ذيس بيبول ان شاء الله who are really rare in our time and in, in our country, or in this country. Barakallahu feekum, Shaykhna. And Shaykh Abdullah is also my Shaykh in recitation. I'm learning the recitation with Shaykh Abdullah, and I'm blessed with uh, having like uh, uh, like a schedule, a schedule with him. Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakumullahu khairan, Shaykh Nizar, for the importance of Isnad and uh, change and Jaza in our religion, in all sciences, not just the science of Quran. Assalamu alaikum. We are very sorry for a little some delay. Uh, we didn't expect it would take, the recitation would take some time, but inshallah, I hope uh, you will uh, wait for this moment. Inshallah, we'll read the, the names of those blessed people that blessed the chain, and we try to make it fast, but I know BHP, uh, this, this discussions and uh, ceremonies are long, and there are many uh, professors who will question the student, but here there's only one, so shall I be sure? And we have here, Alhamdulillah, yani, while she starts, this is just a sample, because we want to set an example, inshallah, and this place and in the world that these are the tests and the uh, exams that she took every jizu, every uh, test in Jazariya. And mashallah, look, yani 97, why you got 97? 100, mashallah, 100, yani, really mashallah. She knows some Arabic, but still, yani, 
she's a very good student, mashallah, and she's already now a teacher in a full time, or not full time, a half of Quran teacher uh, employed. She and uh, Sister Duha, Sister Duha here, also Sister Duha, she's half the way, mashallah. So, inshallah, soon we're going to have another ceremony. We have Sheikh Abdul Muhaz, he finished and we're waiting for him to start, inshallah. But the condition, he has to take the, the first test and then he will go. And Sheikh Nabil, where's Sheikh Nabil? MashaAllah, he finished yesterday or before yesterday, he finished his second khatma and right away he took the first test of Al Jazariya and now he's going to start, inshallah, right away his final khatma. And there are others, inshallah, in the, uh, on the way. There are conditions they have to meet. Uh, once they meet, I'll be, inshallah, the most happy to give. And this is one of the happiest days of my, of my life. Uh, yalla, I'll take these three minutes. Okay. <laughs> the happiest days in my life, one of the happiest days in my life, when my Shaykh, may Allah have mercy on him, Shaykh Bakri Parabishi, when I went to him and I wanted to read to him, my brother Shaykh Ihsan already read to him and got an ijazah from him. So I went to him and I said, Sayyidi, please, I, I like to read to you. So he said, read. So I read. And he said, your reading is like your brother. So just read to him and I'll give you and I'll testify and witness your shahada and ijazah. I said, please, Sayyidi, you know, I want from you. So he said, okay. And that moment was the happiest moment in my life. Another happy moment and day is when my Shaykh, Shaykh Rajab, may Allah have mercy on him, he came in my wedding. So it was, it was the, the, the real joy when he, uh, a Shaykh who, in whose dars, in whose class you would see 15,000 people coming from Lebanon, from Latakia, from all places in Syria to attend his, his dars, uh, to take some time from his schedule and come and uh, enjoy and stay in the wedding and Allah Akbar, that's a great joy. When the, the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ta the people of Quran, uh, they give you something like this, it's an honor. And this is another happy day was when I was detained, alhamdulillah, uh, in Georgia because I spoke about Jerusalem, surprisingly in somewhere here. So uh, I was wrongfully detained, alhamdulillah the judge uh, gave me my rights. They took six months from my life, but there I was one of the happiest days in my life as well, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also guided some people to Islam. This is what Allah told us, This day, I, I, I waited for this day for a long time, but at the same time, it's not in my hand, it's in the hands of these students. So those who are ready and those who are, I was available for them, alhamdulillah. And this uh, khatma is free of any charge. Once they graduate from the preparation program, they read this khatma uh, uh, just as we read to our sheikh, may Allah reward them free of any charge. And alhamdulillah, now there are two or three on, on uh, they're gonna start that. Why that will make me happy? Because what an honor that a sinful person like me be included in the names and in the chain that you will see inshallah in a while. What an honor. Who, who is Abdullah? Who is this sinful person to be mentioned among those people? That's the happiest, one of the happiest days. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us continue this heritage, continue this process. And one of our sheikhs used to say, Sheikh Ayman Suwaid, may Allah reward him also, he would say, Pray that Allah doesn't make you the end of this chain. And I would always pray, Allahumma la taj'alni akhir as silsila Oh Allah, don't make me the last one in this chain. And alhamdulillah, may Allah reward Sister Hana. Inshallah, through her, this dua will be, will be implemented or will be, inshallah, answered. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to make her the last of this chain, inshallah. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make all of our children hufad of the Qur'an and great examples for others. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa alhamdulillahi wa fi'ani wa jazakallahu khairan. We're gonna pray Isha inshallah, right? It's the timer. We're gonna pray Isha right to inshallah and finish up right after Isha inshallah.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أفضل الصلاة وتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله رب العالمين All thanks to Allah for giving us the opportunity and the honor to witness Hannah's uh, ijazah الحمد لله رب العالمين It's been a very long journey for her but الحمد لله الله عز وجل made it easy in so many ways that she was able to complete this task uh, I would like to also to take the opportunity to thank Sheikh Abdullah for all the effort that he's done, for all his time, and for all his sincerity in doing this um, ijazah. I also like to thank all the teachers that helped Hannah throughout her long journey. Uh, Hannah's journey started actually when she was born with a simple dua and a sincere dua from us and her family to make her one of the hafad of the Kitab Allah Azza wa Jal. We thank Allah again for granting that dua for us. Hannah's journey has started for a long time. She was probably about four or five years old when she started memorizing the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, about five years and a half ago, that's when she completed her hafid. And now, Alhamdulillah, she completed her ijazah with Allah's helps and Shaykh Abdullah's help. Um, I do encourage Hannah to continue this journey. This journey has not stopped. It's a lifetime journey. Just, I ask Allah Azza wa Jal again, to make her one of the people who teach the Quran and make benefits out of what she has memorized. So Allah Azza wa Jal protect her and protect all of you. And Jazakum Allah Khair, uh, everybody, for this beautiful thing. And may Allah Azza wa Jal grant every parent the honor that I'm feeling today. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> لقد خلقنا الإنسان في جبل أيحسب أن يقدر عليه أحد يقول أهلكت مالا بدا أيحسب أن لم يروه أحد ألم نجعل له عيني ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه فلقتحم العقبة وما أجرك ما العقبة فك رقبة أو إطعام في يوم ذي مصعبة يتيما ذا مقربة أو مسكينا ذا مصعبة مما كان من الذين آمنوا وتواصوا وتواصوا بالصبر وتواصوا بالمرحمة أولئك أصحاب الميمنة والذين كفروا بآياتنا هم أصحاب المشأمة عليهم نار مصغدة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فألهمها فجورها وتقواها قد أفلح من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت ثمود بطغواها إذ انبعث أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فعقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف عقباها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والليل إذا يغشى والنهار إذا تجلى وما خلق الذكر والأنثى إن سعيكم لشتى فأما من أعطى واتقى وصدق بالحسنى فسنيسره ليسرى وأما من بخل واستغنى 
وكذب بالحسنى فسنيسره للعسرى وما يغني عنه ماله إذا تردى إن علينا للهدى وإن لنا للآخرة والأولى فأنذرتكم نارا تلظى لا يصلاها فأنذرتكم نارا تلظى لا يصلاها إلا الأشقى الذي كذب وتولى وسيجنبها الأتقى الذي يؤتي ما له يتزكى وما لأحد عنده من نعمة تجزى إلا ابتغاء وجه ربه الأعلى ولسوف يرضى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الجولة ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقهر وأما السائل فلا تنهر وأما بنعمة ربك فحدث بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصد وإلى ربك فارغب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين إلا الذين ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون Where's the ayah that's coming up to this ayah? What's the difference? It's down, I don't know. فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين بلى رحمنا ذلك الشهر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان لا يطغى أو رآه استغنى إن إلى ربك الرجعى أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن 
كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسعا بالناصية كيف هذه تقول لنسعا Ah, this is the one that I What's a common mistake some students do here? Inshallah, you can do this Sajda Tilaw, inshallah, after we're done. If you like to do it now, you can, of course. Bismillah <laughs> تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر من كل أمر سلام هي حتى نطلع الفجر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين منفكين حتى تأتيهم البينة رسول من الله يتلو صحفا مطهرة فيها كتب قيمة وما تفرق الذين أوتوا الكتاب إلا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء حنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة إن الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب والمشركين في نار جهنم خالدين فيها أولئك هم شر البرية خالدين فيها there is no abada here where is there is abada in the Quran خالدين فيها abada how many times three times three times when we talk about the people Three times Khalidina fiha abada when it is about the people of the hellfire and what about the people of Jannah? Eight times. Eight times. Can you tell us those times? Um, talking about the people of Jannah, there's two and so the Jada, two and so the Nisara. What's the, the, the sentence that the, the, some scholars they put to help the students remember those places? Tabat Nisara al Ma'ida. Tabana Bubnu Tabah. Okay, Tabat, how many in Tawbah? I mean Tawbah, right? Two in Tawbah. What are those in Tawbah? Wasalim al Awal. What's the second? Tugashirum Zil. Okay. Al Ma'ida, Tabat, Nisa'u. In Nisa, how many? Twice. Two times. Al Ma'ida, one. So these are five. Bana, Su and Bana. So it's been an hour to come about the people of Jannah, Khalidina Fiha Abada. Ghubnu. إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك هم خير البرية جزاؤهم عند ربهم جنات عدن تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها خالدين فيها رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشي ربه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقا 
قالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يصدر الناس أشتاة ليروا أعمالهم فمن يعمل مثقال ذرة خير يره ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شر What's the common mistake some imams, some teachers, some qurra they do here at the end of this ayah? What do they say? What's the common mistake? They, we hear them, they say, Ya Allah, what's the mistake? They don't show the how. How do you connect uh, Ya Allah with the next ayah? Ya Allah. والعاديات غبحا فالموليات قدحا فالمغيرات صبحا فأثرن به نقعا فوسقن به جمعا إن الإنسان لغبه لكنود وإنه على ذلك لشهيد وإنه لحب الخير لشديد أفلا يعلم إذا بعثر ما في القبور وحصل ما في الصدور إن ربهم بهم يومئذ لصديق. قصدكم استيقظ الصدور. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهد المنفوش فأما من you're saying فَأَمَّا مَنْ فَأَمَّا مَنْ Why are you looking? فَأَمَّا Longer than مَنْ فَأَمَّا مَنْ فَأَمَّا مَنْ has longest غُلْنَا مَنْ That's إِخْفَاء It has long غُلْنَا It's a little bit shorter All of this brothers and sisters Just to show you how precise this process is. Uh, this will not change the meaning in any way. But if she makes this similar to this, well, I have to stop her and correct her. And I have some people, they have a hijaza, they never heard about this. They don't even know about it. So alhamdulillah, thank you for the law, subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have some water. <laughs> Take some rest. I know these sewer they have a lot of hats and they need a lot of them. So this uh, as a disclaimer here, and subhanAllah, yani, this family, mashallah, they're full of akhlaq and adab and respect. So they were asking me about like reading in front of the brothers and the sisters, etc. And we we know that in Islam and the Imam is here, that we don't have sisters who go on TV or in gathering and they just stand or sit just to recite. We don't have this in Islam, like Sayyidi, and this is not permissible. As we see now in some TV channels, and they say, look at this lady, her voice is like from Jannah, and she sits and she recites, and she's like an adult. We don't have this. This is like a scholarly uh, process, like discussing a PhD. And how many years did she took? It's not because of me, huh? <laughs> so, so she spent five and a half years. Five and a half years. Of course, because she had one hour every week. And she had some old mistakes. So we have to work on them. And she read two khatmat, full khatmat, by heart. And then she read the final khatmat. I was out for six months, alhamdulillah. And of course, she took a lot of tests 
and she was tested in, in the most famous poem in, in Tajweed, which is Al-Jazariya, 107 verses, and she passed, alhamdulillah, all of the tests, one by one, uh, and every juzah she would have a test, every juzah she would have a test, and she went over training and a lot of uh, work, so it's, it's, it's a, a long uh, process, it's not something like, yalla, uh, wallah, over Skype, I'll give you an hijab, no, so it took time, because of the schedule, because also I have limited time, she has limited time. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, yani I was always open for all students. And she was, Alhamdulillah, active. And she put a goal. And she insisted on me. And she said, please, I want more hours. And she pressurized me. Alhamdulillah, until we reach, <laughs> until we reach this day. And I gave her the time because I saw sincerity and persistence and she put a goal she said this summer right i'm not gonna take anything i'm not gonna i'm not taking any course please i want to take it and she really pressurized me and i gave her because she deserves and she had a goal and alhamdulillah by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah's blessings she came first so there were some people in, on the same race and some people will go ahead when they, they show more uh, persistence and more work. Alhamdulillah. How do you connect Mahia? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bibila fi Quraysh. 
إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ فَلْيَعْبُدُوا رَبَّ هَذَا الْبَيْتِ الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحب على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم ويمنعون الماعون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصلي ربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر هذه كانت الأبتر Can we do that? No. How can we connect the Basmala with the next surah and the previous surah? How many ways are permissible and how many ways are impermissible? One way is impermissible. Which one? One year is the one that you did. Or the other. Don't do it. Go back. How is the one? Anna. Anna. How many how many times uh, this rule comes in the Quran? Seven words. Seven words or seven times? Seven words. What does what's the sign on this alif in this word? A zero sign. What does it mean? Stop, you read it. If you connect, you drop it. Where is this mention? Seven times you said. Where is the first time? Anna, you said Anna. Bad name. I've told you this many times before. Can I give her a hint? Ahzab. Fadaluna. Sabila. What else? وَتَظُنُّونَ ظُنُونَ What else? وَأَطَعْنَا رَسُولَ What else? سُرْ الْإِنسَانِ أَوَارِيرَ Before أَوَارِيرَ We have one also سَلَاسِلَ Right I don't say them Did she say seven? Yes so that I can say, you talk about the ayat in the fifth one, you are Read the Greek for us. That I please. You talk about the ayat in the fifth one. Arabic is not my language. Arabic is not my language. How you connected? How you stop on the second qawariyah? ما شاء الله يستوى عن سلاسلة إن أعتدنا لكافرين سلاسلة ولا شنو هو كيف هاو يستوى من؟ two ways سلاسل أو سلاسلة so how did they put the sign on that alif? tell the story. continue to read that. لا أعبد ما تعبدون 
ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم He also, Sheikh Nabi reminded us we missed down in Kalaf. What's down in Kalaf? That has Wala Ushrik Bi Rabbi Ahadu. La Hinna, right? La Hinna Huwa Allahu Akbar. Ya Allah, continue. I asked her this question many times before she knew it, but now I understand that the atmosphere, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. What's the rule here? We have to consider the sukun. So how do you get rid of them? If the first sukun is not a madla, that doesn't make sense. Rethink it. If the latter of the first sukun. If the latter of the first spoon is not a mad letter or is a mad letter, what do we do? We drop it. Tahti hal anhar. And if it is if it is not a mad letter, so if it's a mad letter, we drop it. If it's not, like here, we change it into kasra. In most cases, ahadu nila. Okay. We're stopping on this word, Nas, with Sukun. Is there any other ways we can stop on it in house narration? Hmm? With wrong, what does that mean? Pronouncing part. Pronouncing part of the haraka. What haraka? Show us how. Let us hear how you do that. Any part of the kasra. So we don't say anas. What do you say? Anasi. Did you hear about that? No. No. So that's another way to stop, which is called a wrong. Is there a third way? What is the third way? Ishma. Ishma. Can we apply it here? No. Where do we apply it? Ishma only applies to words that end with Dhamma. When the word ends with Dhamma. Can you give us an example like how? Like Ar Rahimu. You just round your lips without pronouncing the Dhamma. Ar Rahim. Just like this. No sound? No sound. Tamam, Barakallah. 
الحمد لله الرحيم الرحمن خلق الإنسان وأنزل القرآن وتفضل على عباده بحفظ كتابه حيث قال إنا نحن نزلنا الذكر وإنا له لحافظون ونسأله تعالى أن يصلي ويسلم على سيدنا ونبينا محمد الذي قال خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه ونحمده ونشكره تعالى بأن أكرمنا ومن علينا وأعاننا على حفظ كتابه الكريم وشغلنا بتعلمه وتعليمه نسأله عز وجل أن يتقبل منا صالح أعمالنا وأن يغفر ذنوبنا وتقصيرنا ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم أورثنا الكتاب الذين اصطفينا من عبادنا In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful Then we have granted the scripture to those that we have chosen from our, from our servants This is a license and the memorization, recitation and teaching of the Holy Quran All praise and thanks be to Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful he created the human beings and revealed the Holy Quran and privileged us and privileged his servants by preserving his book where he says what may be translated as it is certainly we who have revealed this reminder or the reminder and it is certainly we who will surely preserve it. We ask him glorified be he to raise the position and send greetings and blessings upon our master prophet Muhammad who said the best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach it. We praise him and thank him, exalted be he, for honoring us, favoring us, and helping us to memorize his holy book, and for keeping us busy with learning it and teaching it. We ask him, glorified and exalted be he, to accept our good deeds and forgive our sins and shortcomings. That is the grace of Allah. He grants it to whomever he wills, and God is the Lord of infinite bounty. I'm going to read the Ijaz, inshaAllah. I'm going to read part of it in Arabic and then I'm going to read that part in English and then we're going to read the, that chain and that sanad inshallah that you will see on the screen so they requested more than one copy so that inshallah also we have some witnesses here we have Imam Ammar inshallah let's see did I see sister uh, Sister Sosan, Sister Sosan, inshallah, so she can sign and witness. وبعده فإن الأخت هناء بنت محمد شريف القصص المولودة في نوبسفيل تينيسي في صفر التاسع والعشرين من صفر عام اثنين وعشرين وأربعمائة وألف جرية الشهر الخامس أيار الثاني في الثالث والعشرين منه عام 2001 ميلادية من الجنسية العربية السورية والأمريكية قد قرأت علي ختمة كاملة من القرآن الكريم برواية حفص عن عاصم من طريق الشاطبية غيبا من حفظها قراءة متقنة على النحو الذي قرأته على شيخي رحمه الله تعالى وأسوة به وبإذن سابق منه فإني أجيزها
فاني اجيز هذه كما اجازني بها استاذي وشيخي فضيله الشيخ بكر بن عبد المجيد الطرابيشي رحمه الله تعالى الذي اكرمني الله تعالى اكرمني الله تعالى بان قرات عليه ختمه كامله بقراءتي عاصم الكوفي وابن عامر الشامي من طريق الشاطبيه وهو رحمه الله تعالى تلقى القران الكريم من شيخه الشيخ محمد سليم الرفاعي الحلواني رحمه الله تعالى To proceed, Sister Hana Muhammad Sharif Al Qasas, born in Knoxville, Tennessee, on Safar, the 29th of Safar, 1422 of the Hijrah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, on May 23rd, 2001 CE, of the Arab, Syrian, and American nationalities. She has recited to me a complete khatma cycle of the Holy Quran in the narration of Hafs from Asim through the Shatibiyah way by heart with mastery in recitation the same way that I recited to my Shaykh Rahimallah Ta'ala Following his example and by a prior license from him I license and certify her with that narration as I was licensed and certified with it by my teacher and Shaykh his eminence Shaykh Bakri Tarabishi Bakri bin Abdul Majid Tarabishi to whom to whom Almighty Allah has honored me to recite a complete khatma cycle in the readings of Imam Asim al Kufi and Imam ibn Amir al Shami from the Shatibiya way and him Shaykh Bakri Tarabishi Rahimallah Ta'ala Qad Talaqa al Quran al Azim he received the Holy Quran in the seven Qiraat through the Shatibiya way from his Shaykh Al-Shaykh Muhammad Salim Ibn Fa'i Al-Hulwani and he received it from his Shaykh and his father Ahmad Ibn Fa'i Al-Hulwani Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Ahmad Ibn Ramadan Al-Marzuqi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Ibrahim Ibn Badawi Al-Ubaidi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Abdul Rahman Ibn Hassan Al-Ujhuri Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Ahmad Ibn Rajab Ibn Al-Baqari Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Qasim Ibn Al-Baqari Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Abdul Rahman Ibn Shahada Al-Yamani Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Ali Ibn Ghanim Ibn Al-Maqdisi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Ibrahim Al-Samadisi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Ahmad Ibn Asad Ibn Al-Umyuti Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Imam Al-Huffar wa Hujjat Al-Qurra Muhammad Ibn Muhammad Ibn Muhammad Ibn Ali Ibn Yusuf Ibn Al-Jazari Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Abdul Rahman Ibn Ahmad Al-Baghdadi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Ibrahim Al-Samadisi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Abdul Rahman Ibn Ahmad Al-Baghdadi Rahimahullah Ta'ala who received it from his Shaykh Muhammad Ibn Ahmad Al-Sa'ir رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh Ali ibn Shuja'in al-Abbasi صدر الإمام الشاطبي رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام القاسم بن فيروه الشاطبي رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام علي ibn Hudayl who received it from his Shaykh الإمام أبي داود سليمان بن نجاح رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh أبي عمر رثمان بن سعيد الداني رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام طاهر بن عبد المنعم بن غلبون رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh علي بن محمد بن هاشمي رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام أحمد بن سهل الأشناني رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام عبيد بن الصباح النهشلي رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh الإمام حفص بن سليمان البزاز رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh التابعي الجليل الإمام عاصم بن أبي النجود رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh التابعي الجليل سيدنا أبي عبد الرحمن عبد الله بن حبيب السلمي رحمه الله تعالى who received it from his Shaykh from سيدنا سيدنا زيد بن ثابت الأنصاري الصحابي الجليل رضي الله تعالى عنه وأرضاه وتلقى القرآن الكريم أيضا من سيدنا أبي بن كعب 
وسيدنا عثمان بن عفان وسيدنا علي بن أبي طالب وسيدنا عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين who received it from our beloved prophet and messenger سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم who received it from أمين الوحي سيدنا جبريل Angel جبريل عليه السلام peace be upon him Gabriel who received it from Almighty Allah سبحانه وتعالى the creator of the heavens and the earth تبارك اسمه وتعالى جده وتقدست أسماءه وقد أجزتها بذلك على أن تقرأ وتقرئ وتجيز أينما حلت وفي أي قطر نزلت بشرطه المعتبر عند علماء القراءات والأثر وبأن لا تجيز إلا من أتقن الحفظ والتلاوة وأحكام التجويد كاملة نظريا وعمليا من خلال منظومة الجزرية وأوصي نفسي وإياها بتقوى الله تعالى في السر والعلن وبالتثبت والمراجعة والتعلم والتعليم والاستمرار في تعلم علوم القرآن الكريم والسنة الشريفة والاهتداء بهما والاهتداء بهما في سائر الشؤون وأرجو أن لا تنساني ومشايخي ووالدي من صالح دعائها وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبع عوده إلى يوم الدين والحمد لله رب العالمين So I have licensed her with that providing that she recites teaches and licenses and licenses others wherever she resides and in any country she visits with the respective conditions that are considered by the scholars of the Quranic readings and with the condition that she does not license except those who mastered memorization, recitation and all of the Tajweed rules theoretically and practically through al Jazariya poem. I recommend myself and her to be conscious of Almighty Allah in secret and in public and to verify, review, learn and teach and to continue learning the sciences of the Holy Quran and Sunnah and to make them the guide in all affairs I hope that she keeps me, my shaykhs and my parents in her prayers For oh Allah raise the position of our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa shower him with more blessings along with his household members, companions and all those who follow his guidance until the day of judgment and all praise and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of all creation the last part that the last part of that blessed khatma was in North Rali Masjid on the 29th of Rabi'ul Anwar 1442 after the Hijrah and the migration of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam corresponding to November 15, 2020 CE and she read to me before that two khatmat for training and she passed all of the tests of Al Jazariya with excellence and she memorized some of it Spent five years and a half. What a period! Yeah.